we have a part in workspace, and also we have a target part. They aren't required, you can use C-frame values for it. Why do I say this? Because lerp actually returns a C-frame interpolated between this C-frame and the goal by the fraction alpha. This alpha is the second parameter of the lerp function. If you are using it with a part, you need to type part.cframe first, because this is a function of C-frame, not the part itself. If you don't know what C-frames are, they are basically a value which contains both position and rotation values. Back to lerp. First one is the goal C-frame and second one is a fraction between 0 and 1. Quick note, you can type some fractions like this. You don't need to add the 0 before these. With all these prints, let's run the game and watch the output. Both rotation and position values are there. Higher value is a bigger magnitude. You can think these as percentages, 0 being 0% and 1 being 100%. If we rotate the target part, now rotations have a more different value. We only rotated in one way and the last remaining ones and zeros are the other axis. Now, what if you want to animate the part with lerp? You can do so, but I don't really recommend it, simply because they aren't designed for animating parts. I created a function here, and inside that, we are using a for loop, and applying the returned frame to part. I also added a duration here, but it isn't in seconds, it's just a duration scale. You saw it on the background, but let's just see it again. If we change the duration, it will affect the animation a lot, and higher values will not create a smooth animation. This is my function, you can do better, but just don't use it for animations. You can tween C frames with tween service and it's way better. You can customize a lot of things like duration, animation style, loops and more. This is how it looks with tween service animation. This looks a lot smoother. If you don't want a basic look, just change the easing style. So what's the best usage of lerp? It's a really good way for calculating when working with C-frames. If you just want to animate parts, use tween service instead. That was it for this video. Hope you understood. See you in another one.